The, the injury issues is that we've had Pedro Neto for around about five years now, and he's been fit for about 50% of that time. Chris Cowley. Fan Cows. Club News. Transfer News. Match Previews. Legend Interviews. Spurs Women. Press conferences covering everything Tottenham and England. So, hey, Chris, um, you've asked me to do a, a video uh, about Pedro Neto. So, yeah, I'm, uh, I'm visiting my dad at the moment. And uh, so th that's where I am. So I'm doing this a bit on the fly for you. Uh, and, of course, for the Spurs fans, for those Spurs fans that don't know, uh, I'm Dazzling Dave, I'm from uh, the biggest and most watched uh, Wolves YouTube channel, Always Wolves Fan TV. Uh, those of you that have seen me on Chris's channel before will know that my uh, my dad um, has a soft spot for Spurs. Uh, his dad used to support Spurs before they moved up to Wolverhampton many, many years ago. But let's talk about Pedro Neto. Uh, and what I've got a list of questions here that you've uh, you've asked me to cover. The first one is, uh, you want my thoughts on the speculation of Pedro Neto to Spurs and how the fan base are feeling about it. I think that's what you probably mean about the uh, the Wolves fan base. To be honest, we're not, you know, from my point of view, I'm not really fussed. Um, Pedro Neto's been linked with Arsenal. Pedro Neto's been linked today with Manchester City. Yesterday, he was linked uh, with you guys. The fact is, no one's made an offer as of yet. For Pedro Neto, um, we've been expecting Pedro Neto probably to go um, this summer, so it's not something that we're really that faced by. We're used to the speculation uh, in in regards to Neto, really. Uh, your next question is: uh, Gary O'Neill has stated he would like him to stay, but the club won't stand in his way. A big offer comes. Do you think he would like a move to Wolves? Pedro Neto was recently interviewed. Uh, as well, asked at the fans forum over in the States, uh, you know, uh, and he basically said he wants to help Wolves finish his eye up and qualify for Europe this year. So he's saying that obviously you'd expect him to say those things. Pedro Neto is still very young. He's on a very long term contract with Wolves. Um, he has been with Wolves for a few years. He's developed into the player that he is. He's committed to Wolves. But of course, if an offer comes in, um, then, and if Wolves accept the offer, a place like Spurs, Arsenal, um, or Manchester City is is obviously going to be um, honoured to be uh, to link with those sort of sides. But I don't think he's kind of like, oh yeah, I'd love to go and play for Tottenham. I don't think he's thinking like that. You uh, said, can you talk uh, about his injuries, injuries issues, and are you concerned? Um, the the injury issues is that we've had Pedro Neto for around about five years now. And he's been fit for about 50% of that time. Um, he's been out for long periods and short, medium periods in the past. And, um, yeah, so I'm, I'm not particularly concerned. We're used to Pedro being uh, being injured. Now, for a team like Wolves, where you want him to play, and he's the main man, that's great. Um, when we were took linked, when he was linked with Arsenal, he'd be a great option uh, to come on in place of Saka. Um, would Tottenham expect Pedro Neto to be playing every game as the main man? I don't, I'm not sure. You probably know better than that than I do. Uh, but he has got, uh, does seem to pick up these injuries. And that would be more of a concern for you than it is for us because we're kind of used to it. If you get Pedro fully fit all the time, he's a world-class player. Um, next question you've got, uh, do you think he would be a good player for Spurs? Um, and do you think he would fit the way Tottenham and Ange plays? Well, let's face it, Ange ball is a little bit, you know, I've seen Tottenham, they basically sit in the opponent's arse uh, and press and really push the team back. I don't know, to be honest, because Pedro Neto is someone that can really move the ball up the field from defence really, really fast. So if he's sitting um, in the opponent's arse, you maybe not get in the best out of Pedro Neto because he, he does like to run with the ball um, and attack from deep. And for Wolves, he's been brilliant using Pedro 
as a counter-attacking threat. Um, but clearly, he's very, very talented and he can take players on. Um, but he would have to be adapted, I think, to play the type of way that uh, Ant wants. Um, because you do tend to you know, play with an unbelievably high line. And someone for Wolves, a Pedro Neto, is the sort of person, sort of player that would be able to... Uh, destroy that high line as we've seen happen in the past uh, because he's got that pace but I'm guessing if uh, and wants him he's got an identity on how he wants to play him. but it'd be interesting to see how he uh, adapts to the way that Tottenham uh, play his best position is probably out on the left he can play on the right um, either side really he can play but we always feel that he he, he plays as most effect from the left but he has played on the right a lot and he can do damage on both sides. Um, strengths and weaknesses, directness, pace, bravery, end product. Uh, weaknesses, picking up injuries. Um, you know, that that's basically his biggest weakness is, 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 is the injury side of Pedro Neto. He is, when, when fit, unbelievable and so hard to play against. Uh, what do I think... Um, Pedro Neto is currently worth well if I was Wolves I wouldn't be selling him for anything less than £60 million uh, the guy is unbelievable, he's almost unplayable when he's fully fully fit but I say the injuries is a concern um, but Wolves have got him on a long term contract, we've recently sold Max a million Kilman uh, to West Ham £40 million after buying him for 40000 Wolves this season, unlike last season, we needed to sell to balance the books to avoid get out of FFP. Um, it was a difficult period. Wolves this year do not need to sell, especially as we've already sold Max Kilman for forty million. And I say that's a huge FFP PSR profit on him. Uh, there are other players that will be sold for Wolves. We've already done a bit of business. Our squad's looking a lot more strength in depth this year, so. We don't need to sell, to sell. And I'm loving the fact that potentially Tottenham, Man City now and Arsenal are all interested in Pedro Neto because for us, that creates a bidding war and that means you're going to have to pay the the, uh, the big bucks. And as you know, um, Tottenham always hold out for the price that they want. And if you want to buy Pedro Neto, it's stump up the cast or, well, do one because we don't need to sell and um, I think 60 million and I don't know would Tottenham be really willing to spend 60 million on Pedro Neto when he does have potential breakdowns and in injuries I don't know is he going to be uh, someone that you're going to use every game or is he someone that you're going to use as more of a squad player that is going to be used and not use him all the time i think that's the key thing for you guys uh to to to, to think about but he's an unbelievable player and you know if he stays at wolves watch out um because with the signings that we've bought in so far and if we keep him as well you know offensively we've looked really good in pre-season so far but if he does go as what a lot of us have expected, but we thought we expected Neves to go for about four or five years in a row. If he does end up staying at Wolves, great. If he does go, then it's going to bring in a lot of revenue for Wolves, and uh, you know that that money should hopefully be reinvested. But I hope we don't leave it right till the end of the transfer window. Uh, but as I say, at the moment it's just speculation. There's no firm bids, um, and I hope you've enjoyed this uh, little bit of thought sitting at my dad's in his comfy chair. Um, you know, and I do wish, as always, Chris, you're my mate, all the best and all the Spurs fans, all the best. And, uh, you know, we're trying to get towards that 34,000 subscribers where you've got over 100,000, which is amazing. So we do a lot of Spurs con you know, content in terms of around the games. You'll see Chris on the game, uh, some of the stuff that we do. We meet up before the games. Uh, we'll be talking to Chris and stuff and doing some Tottenham stuff as and when. And if you like some General Wolves stuff. I uh, really would appreciate that subscribe uh, to the channel. Um, it really helps us out and hopefully you'll find a different perspective uh, from the Wolves fans. But uh, yeah, all the best. Hope this has been what you want, mate. And until the next one, um, yeah, from myself, Dazzling Dave and Always Wolves Fan TV, all the best for the season.